What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here, and it's that time of the week again. Well, a day late. Sorry about that. I'm on vacation and I took part of my studio with me to record and produce content. Unfortunately, there's been a few errors with the equipment and the audio quality, so I'm sorry about that. However, in this video, we're going to be going over the top 20 tweets of the week from Anthem's developers responding to you, the fans. Before we get too far along in the video, I have to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. In less than a week, we went from zero to over 120 subscribers. Not only that, but our pre-order video hit our first 1,000 views. I'm blown away and I can't thank you all enough. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and check out more of our content. Also, you may have noticed that I changed my nameplate from at your anthem to your anthem host. Long story short, I couldn't get Twitter to release the at your anthem handle that's been inactive for over eight years. So until I can figure out a workaround, you freelancers can find me on Twitter at anthem your for the time being. Link to the Twitter is in our description. Now then, on to the video. These tweets are in no special order, and I'm just going in order of when the tweet was tweeted. Our first tweet of the week comes from the incredible Mr. Mark Dara. Andre asks if Anthem will include some form of power measurement similar to the light level in Destiny or eye level in World of Warcraft, to which Mark replied that there would be. Our next tweet goes to Mark, asking if we will be able to pilot things other than our javelins, such as ships, vehicles, and so on. Mark's response says it all. As per the usual, when I start seeing the devs having to answer the same question a few times a week, I like to add these to the list to save them from ever having to answer that question again. This question comes from Steven, who asks if our characters will have a voice. Mark replied that our characters will have a voice, however, the names of the voice actor and voice actress for our characters, like many of the other characters, have not been released yet. Toby asks if a new player joins late, are the rewards limited? Mark replied that their rewards would be limited, which makes sense. However, there will be some rewards to encourage late joins. This next tweet is possibly one of my favorites on the list. Avenger2108 asks Mark about the three enemy factions. Mark replies that there are the Dominion, the Scars, and a faction known as the Outlaws. And then there is a dot dot dot. In one of my previous videos, I hypothesized that there would be more than just two major factions of humans in the Anthem world, aka the humans of the Dominion and the humans of Fort Tarsus. These outlaws seem pretty interesting, however, as at the time of this video, we know nothing about them. And then there's the dot 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 after Mark's tweet. Does that mean there will be more than three factions at launch or planned in the future? Only time will tell, freelancers. Another favorite tweet of mine comes from Cluster Cakes, asking if we will be able to customize our Javelin's helmets and other parts. Mark replied that the helmet can be swapped in order to allow you to look completely different from members of your party. Benjamin Earl asks Mark if we find a better weapon on a mission or some other activity, would we be able to use it immediately? Mark replied that we would have to go back to the forge to equip it. Now, this is an excellent idea, but I agree with Mark that there are a plethora of potential legal issues that could come with it. Fan asks if the community would eventually be able to pitch ideas to the dev team and have the devs either make the final call or allow the fans to vote. Mark replied, there are ways that it could work, kind of like Warframe, who has a similar concept that they've been using for years. But ultimately, they would need to worry about specific and special legal frameworking. Personally, while this is a cool concept, I think they have enough on their plate to accomplish before launch. However, after launch, who knows? Killer Queso asks if the main storyline of the game will get us to maximum level, or would we need to do additional side quests to reach maximum level? Typically, I prefer games that require you to not only play the story, but also do side quests to get that maximum level. According to Mark, however, it is not fully tuned yet. Another fan tweets, since Anthem is online only, will we have dedicated servers? Mark replied that Anthem would have dedicated servers, which is fantastic to hear. Frank Goodall asks about the Storm and Interceptor Javelins having their changing designs based on the gender of the freelancer. Mark replied that their appearances are not based off of either male or female body shapes. Another tweet asks, Skolko budet FPS na konsolya? Turns out I would eventually use the Russian I learned in college in the real world, and I owe Dr. Gossett an apology. Kirill asks, how many frames per second will there be on the consoles? Mark replied that there will be more information on that later. Ralph asks Mark if we will be able to run around and interact with Fort Tarsus, or would it be a menu base? 
Mark replied that you will be able to run around and interact with Fork Tarsus. Michael Gamble wrote this tweet on the 12th in which he says, If we thought that the devs should keep doing the Ask Me Any things until Anthem ships. My answer? Absolutely. I can't thank Mark, John, Michael, and the rest of the devs for being so responsive to us. You guys rock. Mr. Yeti asks Mark Dara if there is going to be a free range of color that we will be able to put on the suits, or will we have shaders like in Destiny? Mark replied that he believed that we would have a full color wheel, which I am going to be incredibly grateful for if the color wheel is a reality. Doc Starbucks tweeted John Warner if we would only be able to add or change level progression perks at Fort Tarsus or on the Strider like immersion gear. John replied that we would. Now many of you know that I will more than likely be using the Storm Javelin as my main suit, so this tweet especially interests me. Eduardo Adams states that we can see that the Storm Javelin doesn't have a jetpack so it can't technically overheat. Does this mean that the Storm can fly infinitely, given that Mark has already mentioned that the Storm can hover infinitely? Mark replied that the Storm can can still overheat its power pack, which means the storm cannot fly without end. Coming to the end here, Deadpool asks if you can fully customize your Freelancer. Similarly, how you can fully customize your Javelin. Mark replies that you can in fact customize your Freelancer, including their gender. However, he does state that the team has spent most of their efforts on the Javelin's customizations, which makes sense given that we will be in our Javelins more than we will be out of them. It is fitting that this last tweet is this one. The question was asked if Anthem will have a battle royale mode. Mark's answer was thankfully a resounding no. Anyways, that wraps up our top 20 tweets of the week. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and learned a little something about your game. I'm looking forward to doing many more of these videos in the future and creating more Anthem content for all you fantastic freelancers. I hope you all have a phenomenal week coming up, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See you all soon.